Hi everyone, welcome to Keep Calm and Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little hippo. For this tutorial, you're going to need plush yarn in the color of your choice, 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, pair of scissors, 10 millimeter security eyes, stitch marker, darning needle, and some fiber fill. And in addition to this, you are going to need a tiny bit of black and white standard double knit yarn for the finer details. So make sure you've got all of those components. Now, before we start, if you enjoy watching my tutorials, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. We're going to start off with the head and for this, let's go ahead and work a slip knot and chain two. One, two. Skip your first chain and work eight single crochets in the second chain from your hook. That's my first single crochet. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh and eighth single crochet. Once you have your eight single crochets, pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches and this should bring your stitches nice and close together so we can start working in a spiral slip your hook in the first single crochet of your previous round to start round two and here we're going to begin by working one single crochet and put our stitch marker in place so that we can identify the start of each of our rounds this way slip your hook back inside that same stitch and work another single crochet. Now when you work two single crochets in the same stitch, it's called an increase. We're going to be working eight increases in this round. That's the sixth increase. Seventh and the final increase, increase number eight. This should bring your stitch count to 16. Let's start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch, stitch marker back in place, follow this single crochet on with an increase in the next stitch, and here's your repeat for this round single crochet followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around till you get to this point go ahead and finish that round and then meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. now we're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch stitch marker back in place follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around to finish this round you're going to need 24 single crochets in a row once you've done that, you're going to follow that same method two more times to have three rounds of just single crochet. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of three rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 24. Now from here, we're going to start working on the nose and we are going to begin by working a chain one. Turn your work around and work four increases in a row, starting from the very first stitch here. That's one increase. Increase number two, three, and four. We're going to chain one, turn our work around one more time so it's facing the right way around. And now we're going to start working on the next round by working a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way to the end here. So you will need eight single crochets. That's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And after this, you're going to be working one single crochet on the side of this little flap that we have here. So on the side, slip your hook in there and work a single crochet right here and we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way to the other side you should have 20 single crochets all together so go ahead and work that work that and meet me back here once you get to this point once you work your 20 single crochets we are going to work on the side here again just the same way we did on this side so 
at the bottom of these this flap we're going to work one single crochet there and this should finish our round so you should have a total of 30 single crochet we're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch here stitch marker back in place we're going to follow the single crochet on with the single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around you should need 30 single crochets in a row to finish one round once we've done that you're going to follow the same method two more times to have three rounds of just single crochet all together go ahead and work that and meet me back here at the end of three rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 30. now we're going to take a minute and insert some security eyes into the head so to be able to do this you're going to turn this the right way around so the nose or the muzzle is facing us and let's grab the eyes you're going to insert the eye in the round that's just above the muzzle so one two in between there there we go and we're going to keep about four to five stitches in between and insert the other eye on the other side so one two three four five and i'm going to insert this in the fifth row um, stitch and there we go that looks perfect we can go ahead and slip the backing or the security backing on and continue working on the next round from here you're going to be working three single crochets in a row that's one two three stitch marker back in place and follow this on with a decrease so to do this you're going to pull up a loop from the next stitch and the stitch after that three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three in one go and here's your repeat for this round three single crochets followed on with a decrease repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. now we're going to start the next round by working a decrease in the first stitch and let's put the stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this decrease on with a decrease in every one of these stitches all the way around in total you're going to be working 12 decreases go ahead and do that and then meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count should be 12. now we're going to fasten off by working a slip stitch in the next stitch and finish with this head let's go ahead and snip this yarn off leaving a long tail and pull this out of the stitch pull this down and there we go that's nice and secure go ahead and stuff this head up with some fiber fill all the way to the top and i've already gone ahead and done that and that completes the head of this hippo now on to the arms for this let's go ahead and work a slip knot and chain two skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook that's one two three four five and here's the sixth one once you have your six single crochets pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches from here start the next round by working a single crochet in the first single crochet of your previous round there we go from here i'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of my rounds and we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around you're going to need six single crochets to finish this off once you've done that you're going to follow the same method six more times to have seven rounds of single crochet all together so go ahead and work that and meet me back here once you've worked your seven rounds of single crochet this is what the arm should look like at this point you're going to pinch the top flat like this making sure that the stitch that you finished with is on one side now slip your hook in the next stitch and make it go through the stitches at the back as well so if i pull this apart you will see that it's gone through the front and the back in one go work your first single crochet through both of these slip your hook in the next stitch make it go through the back as well again and here's your second and let's do the third single crochet across the top and that completes your arm you're going to work chain one Let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, slip, pull this out and pull this down to secure in place. And there we go. You're going to follow the same instructions one more time to make another one of these. 
Now onto the legs and for this let's go ahead and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. Chain two, one, two. Skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And from here, you're going to start working the next round. Slip your hook in the first single crochet of your previous round and work an increase in there. We're going to be working six increases all together. So that's my first increase. Here's increase number two. Third increase. Fourth, fifth, and the final increase, increase number six. Now from here, you're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in the first stitch. And let's go ahead and put the stitch marker back in place. You're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you're going to need 12 single crochets in a row. Once you've done that, you're going to follow the same method four times all together to have four rounds of single crochet. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of four rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 12. We're now going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch and finish off with one leg at this point. Let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, pull this out, and there we go. Now from here we're going to follow the same instructions one more time to make another one of these, but this time you're going, not going to snip the yarn off. Keep it attached and meet me back here. I've now finished the second leg as well. We're going to start working on the body, and to do this you're going to chain two and connect the legs together with a slip stitch. Move that out of the way and slip your hook in the next stitch. I usually tend to do this where the stitch is finished, so just in that same space. Pull up a loop and make this loop go through the loop that was already on your hook. Chain one and we can now start our next round. Go back into that same stitch to work our first single crochet. You're going to be working 10 single crochets in a row around the first leg. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You have two more stitches left on this leg and we're going to be working increases in there. So we're going to work six increases all together. So two on this leg, Two on the next leg, and let's move the tail out of the way. And now we're going to work two increases on this chain two. So slip your hook in the first chain stitch and work an increase. And here we go in the next stitch as well. Now we're going to move on to the second leg and let's work two increases there as well. So we have six increases in a row. You should have six, uh, ten stitches left. Go ahead and work a single crochet in every single one of these all the way to the end and then I'll come and meet you back here to work the last little bit. Once you finish working your 10 single crochets all the way to the end, you're going to be facing the two, chain 2 stitch again. It's already been worked in, however, we're going to work in the same stitches but from this side. So we're going to move them out of the way and work at the base of these chain stitches. So two single crochets. This should bring your stitch count to 34. Let's start the next round 
by working a single crochet in our first stitch stitch marker back in place follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around to finish one round you're going to need 34 single crochets in a row once you've done that you're going to follow the same method three more times to have four rounds of single crochets all together so go ahead work four rounds of single crochet and then meet me back here at the end of four rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 34. we're now going to start the next round by working 15 single crochets in a row here's my first second third fourth fifth six Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Follow this on with a decrease. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches. Three loop loops on your hook. Yarn over. Pull through all three in one go. And you're going to repeat that one more time to finish this round. Go ahead and work that. And meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be thirty-two. Now we're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. You're going to need 32 single crochets in a row to finish this round. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of one round of single crochet, stitch count should still be 32. Now you're going to start the next round by working two single crochets in a row. And follow this on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three in one go and here's your combination for this round two single crochets followed on with a decrease repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 24 we're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch stitch marker back in place follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around at the end of one round of single crochet, stitch count should still be 24. Now you're going to work the next round by working two single crochets in a row. Stitch marker back in place, followed on with a decrease. And here's your repeat for this round. Two single crochets, followed on with a decrease, repeat that all the way around. Now you're going to be doing that six times this time to finish this round. Go ahead and do that, meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. Now we're going to start the next round, and in this we are going to be attaching the arms onto the body. So let's begin by working three single crochets in a row. Here's one, two, three. Let's put the stitch marker back in place. And let's grab the first arm. You're now going to hold this arm across the top, right next to the stitches of the body, like this. So from here you're going to work three single crochets across the two of these things, connecting them together. So slip your hook in the first stitch of the arm, make it go through the stitch on the body as well. Let's move the tail end out of the way. And pull up a loop to work your first single crochet. Let's repeat that and work all the way to the end of the arm. So you'll need three single crochets. Second and third now that arm is connected from here you're going to work seven single crochets in a row one two three four five six and seven let's grab the other arm the second arm place it right next to the stitches like this and we are going to slip our hook in the stitch on the arm make it go through the stitches on the body work your three single crochets across the top like this that's one second one and my final number three right here 
and once you've done that you're going to move this tail end out of the way you should have two stitches left and you're going to work two single crochets in them so here's the first and the second stitch count should still be 18. let's start the next round by working a single crochet in the first stitch pop the stitch marker back in place follow this on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three that's our decrease and here's your repeat for this round one single crochet followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 12. now we're going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch to fasten off and let's go ahead and snip this yarn off pull this out of the stitch and there we go now that finishes the body of this hippo now onto the ears and for this let's begin the same way as all the other components that's with a sink slip knot and chain two skip your first chain and work eight single crochets in the second chain from your hook one two three four five six seven and eight once you have your eight single crochets pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches and once you've done that you're going to work a slip your hook in the first single crochet of the previous round and work a slip stitch in there like this let's go ahead and snip this yarn off leaving a long tail pull this out of the stitch pull this down and there we go that completes one of the ears go ahead and follow the same instructions to make another one of these now onto the assembly we're going to start off by adding the special features onto the face and for this let's start off with a darning needle threaded with some same purple yarn we're going to make two nostrils so this is where the eyes are we're going to count two rounds below so that's one two and just at the edge of this we're going to slip our needle in keep about one stitch or two stitches in between and you're going to pull this out and we're going to go through that same stitch three times one two and three so if we count the first time we put it in through that stitch that makes four strands we're going to now slip this in in that same stitch and guide it to come out from the same side but on the same place on the other side directly underneath the eye and in that same round like this pull this in and we're going to make that nostril here as well so keeping about the same amount of stitches in between if you chose to have two stitches around here you have to have the same as i went for one i'm going to do the same again so one stitch so that's just the initial one and i'm going to go through the same stitch three times that's one two three and once you finish with that you're going to slip this needle in that top part and make it come out from the corner of this nostril here where we started the whole process like this if the strands get pulled too much you can always pull them out like this to make them protrude a little bit more now i'm going to take these two strands of yarn and tie them into a little knot to secure them in place and from here you can either use your darning needle or a hook to pull these strands in first of all let's go ahead and snip this shorter as i'm going to be using a darning needle slip your darning needle from further away make it come out from that same stitch where we've just finished loop these yarn uh, the bits of yarn onto your hook and pull this in into your stitches and there we go now that completes the nostrils now from here we're going to take some DK yarn and thread it into your darning needle as we're going to move on to adding some details onto the eyes and uh, 
um, defining the eyebrows as well. So for the eyes, first of all, you're going to slip your needle from further away and make it come out from one stitch away from the eye, like this. So that's the eye. I've kept one stitch in between. I've taken that needle out from here. This is to create the eyeliner or the eyelid of this little hippo. So from here, you're going to go in the front part of this eye here, guided to go through some fiber fill and make it come out from exactly the same sort of spot on the other side of this eye. Like this, so inserting it from one side, make it come out from another. When you pull it, they'll create the eye um, eyelid, eyeliner for this one and we're going to do the same on this side so keep one stitch in between and insert this needle in the stitch after that from there go, guide it to go through some fiber fill make it come out from that same stitch where we started the whole process right there and pull it out and when this goes down you're going to push this up so it loops around the eye like this and there we go that completes the eyelids of this little hippo. Now from here you can go ahead and tie a little knot between these two strands as well and pull them in using your darning needle. Cut them shorter, slip your hook in from the neck area, make it come out from the same stitch and pull these two strands in. And there we go. And now from here, let's grab some pins and darning needle threaded with black yarn to make the outline of the eyebrows. So we're using this so we can use a trial and improvement method to find out exactly where we want the these eyebrows and how big we want them to be. So insert it on both sides and then we will embroider them. So once you've inserted the pins, you can check it out that it's actually symmetrical or not. I'm happy with this. Let's grab the yarn, slip it in from further away, make it come out from where the head of this pin is. Insert it into where the tail is coming out from. Do the same on the other side as well. And there we go and insert it where the head of this pin is coming out from. Now, make the needle go through some fiber fill and make it come out from that same stitch where we started this. Pull it out. And let's pull the pins out as well as we're finished with that. And that's perfect. Let's go ahead and tie a knot in place with these two strands as well making sure that you don't pull in onto it too much otherwise these will disappear or go too tight inside the head now that's done you can either use your hook or the darning needle and slip this and make it go through some fiber fill and come out from the neck opening i'm going to do the other one with the hook Now we can stuff these two bits inside the head here. Now on to the ears and let's go ahead and grab our, one of the ears. You're going to be attaching that just after round three. So there's round one, two and three. So in the stitches just in between round three and four is where we're going to be attaching or sewing this ear like so. This is what it needs to look like. So slip your needle around two of the stitches or one stitch, isolating like this. Yarn one of the bits onto your hook, pull this through. And grab the other bits of yarn and give it a knot in place. I'm going to give it a double knot. And there we go, that's, the ear is now attached. We're going to take the hook, slip it in from further away, 
make it come out from that same stitch pull these two strands in as well follow the same instructions and sew the other ear on as well and then meet me back here ears are now on let's move on to attaching the head and the body together and for this go ahead and thread your darning needle with this bit of yarn now to be able to do this you're going to first of all align them so lay the body flat on the table making sure that the the protruding part is the belly and the flat part is the back so we want to lay it like this hold the head so lay it flat and hold the head on top and check exactly where your thread is coming out so it, mine is right on top of the ear uh, the arm here so this is where i'm going to start sewing it so if i pull this apart you can see that's where they're going to be connected so while holding it together i am just going to thread my needle into that stitch where it needs to go pull this through and before we stitch this double check while holding it up right as well like this mine looks perfect i'm going to now sew these two components together by catching one stitch on the head and one stitch on the body moving on to the next one one stitch on the head and then one stitch on the body and just like this you're going to make your way all the way around Just like this go ahead and work all the way around and meet me back here i've now made my way all the way around let's go ahead and work the final stitch together and from here you're going to isolate one little thread by slipping a needle around one stitch create a loop slip your needle back inside that loop and pull this down gently to create a knot in place we can repeat the process one more time if you wish to. And once you are happy with this, you're going to slip your needle back inside that same stitch, make it go through some fiber fill, come out from another side of the body and pull this out. We can now go ahead and snip this yarn off. and give everything a little squeeze so it retains this shape and the fiber fill gets um, distributed evenly head is now attached we're going to turn this hippo over on its front and we're going to work on the tail so to do this you're going to take your hook and go right directly in the center of the body Slip your hook from one side and isolate one stitch like this by making it come out from another, the other side. Pull this thread through and we're going to give it a double knot in place so it's nice and secure. Slip your hook from further away, make it come out from that same stitch that we've just tied a knot in. Loop this yarn onto your hook and pull this in all the way, like this. And once you've done that, if it sticks out from the other side of the body, you can, you can snip it off from there. Now, we're going to slip our hook back around that same stitch and pull up a loop. And we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. From here, we'll take our pair of scissors and snip this yarn off and pull it out of the stitch. The last stitch that we've got, the chain stitch, we're going to pull it down to secure those two chain fours in place. And from here, you're going to thread this bit into your darning needle. And we are going to thread this back into the body by making it go through the chain four first. So in a zigzag like this, so coming out and making it go back in like this, thread it back onto the tail or onto the chain, chain four, 
and slip it inside the body. Make it go through some fiber fill and come out from another side of the body. Let's go ahead and snip this off from here. And that's the little tail of this hippo. To finish this off, I'm going to be using some standard double knit yarn in white. I'm going to uh, grab about three inches and double it up like so. So I'm going to snip it off from here. And so this is what we have got like this. I'm going to take my hook, slip it at the end of the tail loop those two strands on and pull this through and we can go ahead and give this a little knot in place like this and go ahead and snip these yarn uh, bits of yarn down to a smaller size i'm going to take the opposite ends and give them a little knot in place because otherwise they'll stick out in the opposite direction like this. To avoid that, you're going to tie a little, uh, another knot in place and this should make them all come together. And from here, you can take a pair of um, um, a comb or a brush to um, even these out and make them fluffy. And that's the tail of this hippo complete. Now onto the mouth and for this let's go ahead and thread our darning needle with some black yarn and we're going to make a mouth opening around the front. Now you can make this as big or as little as you want. I'm going to be making this uh, about, uh, we'll keep about four or five stitches in between right in the center here. So to position this you're going to use the nostrils as a guideline. So here are the nostrils you're going to uh, make the opening of the mouth three rounds below. So there's one round, second, third. So in between the stitches after the third round. And uh, the width of the mouth is going to be in line with the nose as well. So trace it down, slip your needle in, make it come out from the other side or the other edge of the nose. And pull this through. And from here, I'm going to make it go through this one more time same stitches one more time make sure that it doesn't get pulled from here you can go ahead and give these two bit of uh, bits of yarn a little knot in place making sure the knot sits at the edge of um, the stitch right here And using your hook, you're going to pull these two strands in. Slip it in from further away. Guide it to come out from that same stitch where we've just tied the knot. Loop these onto your hook and pull these two strands in. If this gets pulled in too much, you can always slip your hook underneath and release it like this. And that makes the little smile of this hippo. Let's go ahead and snip this yarn off and there we have it that completes our little hippo if you enjoyed making this little hippo with me be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching